Hey guys, we're here with Travis from Dirt Bike Magazine at the Still Performance Race Shop, and we're going to take you on a detailed tour through Cody Webb's awesome Beta Factory 300RR. We left the bike as is, we cleaned her up a little bit, so you might see a couple nicks and such, but uh, it gives it a lot of flavor because this bike you know, went out and, uh, and took the silver medal. Cody runs a pretty standard setup as far as tires go. Currently he's running a Dunlop MX-71, although we are testing the new MX-52. We run tire balls inside the tire. We vary the pressure and the amount of balls based on conditions. We run Did Dirt Stars and uh, Rad Hubs along with a lacing pattern that's a little bit stronger. A Cherby's front guard has been really good for us. Cody seems to bend his front rotor quite a bit. So adding the guard has really cut down on that. Still will performance suspension, of course. Um, we've really tested a lot in the last two years on these new red, red Marzocchi forks. This is a great fork. It's a factory level fork. We run an ODI grip setup. These are super soft, gummy grips. Cody loves these things. Arc levers, these are great levers. They're, uh, they're unbreakable levers. We've had really good luck with these. Cody runs just a standard ODI champion bar. It's a pretty flat bar, as you can see. There's not a lot of sweep to it. He runs it really neutral, which, you know, for a guy that's almost 6'4", is something that uh, I would have expected him initially when I started to work with him to have a, a little bit more open cockpit. But he likes it. He can move around on the bike a lot with it, uh, with it in this position. Radiators are from Mylers. We run a, a thicker radiator, both a thicker back and an extra core in the side. Um, we do run all Motul fluid. HBD does our graphics. I think this is the best looking bike on the track right now. We run an FMF unplated pipe. Little D and the guys at FMF have been great with us to work on getting the type of power out of the bike we want with pipes. We run an S3 head. The head has adjustable domes, so if we, when we go to Denver we want more compression, we can simply change the dome rather than having to pull the head, take a different head and put it on there. So this bike came directly from, from the factory in Italy with a lighter frame. It does have extra gusseting and so forth, but overall our goal was to get the weight of the bike down, so it does have uh, an actually lighter frame on there. DID does all of our chains for us, super chains, you know, we adjust it once after practice and we're good for the day. Been uh, real happy with that and we made that up to super sprock sprockets. BRP does our chain guides. On the back we also run a Dunlop. This is a factory gummy tire. Plastic on the bike is, uh, is really stock. You can, you can get this on your own beta. We run a moto seat, gripper seat, and they've done a good job with that because they actually put heavy duty, looks almost like Kevlar material in here where, the, where your knees grip. We run a recluse core manual for Cody. He is obviously a trials champion, so he's real, real particular about his clutch feel. This gives him a good solid clutch feel. He likes the way it, uh, it modulates. We run a hide skid plate, super, super slippery. Uh, really gives enough flex when you hit a rock that it absorbs the blow without doing any damage to the frame. Fastway still will performance linkage guard is the tail end of that whole story. So as you go across rocks and roots and, and logs, the linkage guard gets flat and acts as an extension of your skid plate. On the back is a beta shark fin, lightweight, pretty strong. Like I said, you can see we just got back from X Games, so it's got a little battle damage on it. Dirt tricks on the rotors, best best uh, best rotors there are. These things are just burly. So this is our third year with DP brakes. The brakes are fantastic. We run the Fox Podium 3 shock. This thing's a game changer for, uh, for this bike. Um, we work really closely with Fox here at Stillwell Performance. We're also a dealer for them. The Fox shock's really cool because if you can see this little green adjuster here all the way back inside or on the top of the shock, that's a bottom out control and it's something that allows me to run the, the compression really, really soft and plush so it stays down and tracks through the rocks. But when you land off of the things like the tire jumps and a couple of the jumps at the X Games where they were launching high without a lot of forward momentum and they come crashing down, the uh, bottom out control allows it to, to really just slow that shock down, keep the chassis flat and keep the tire in contact and turning with the ground. We run the new Fastway Evolution Air foot pegs. These things are fairly new. They're super burly. They're, one of the problems that you have in Enduro Cross is that these pegs take such an abuse that you'll see stalkers after guys come off the track where the pegs actually push back from just impacts. You don't get that with these Evolution Airs. All of Cody's bolts are either full titanium or aluminum. And the bike is super light, super flickable. 
uh, he noticed a difference from last year's model to this one. So from tip to tail, this is a pure factory bike. Titanium, factory Dunlop rubber, custom suspension, custom motor mods. This thing is, uh, is a potent weapon. And as you can see, Cody's been putting it to him and we're going into the third round in Sacramento with the points lead in the red plate. So we're super, super pumped on the bike. Reliable as heck, just don't have any problems with it. Super light to lift off the stand and uh, we're ready for Sacramento. So we hope we see you there. Thank you to Dirt Bike Magazine and keep it pinned.